Hey, what is up guys? This is SM. In this video, I am going to show you how to make screen transition using Python Skibi. So, first of all, I am going to create a Python file. Let's name it as main.py and then I am going to create our KB file. Okay, I am going to name it as layout.kb. Okay. And let me split this screen. okay let me close it okay here in python file i'm going to import uh, some modules and classes from kiwi so from kiwi md dot app import md app after that from kiwi dot uix dot screen manager import screen manager okay, let me zoom in so that you so that text should be more clear okay after that I am going to import builder module from kv dot lang okay from kv dot lang import builder okay now I'm going to create our UI class okay this class is going to inherit from a screen manager and I'm going to passing this class because I don't want any kind of functions in this class so after that I'm going to create our main class and this class is going to inherit from our MDF class okay then let me call a function and this is a building class and this is the built-in function of MD app class so I'm going to build widgets by this function okay let me pass the self argument and then I'm going to return our UI class okay return UI after that uh, before returning the UI class I must load our KB file okay by using builder module builder dot load file and then uh, layout dot kv okay now I am going to run my program and let's see if everything is okay sorry guys I didn't call our class okay I must run our class using this run method okay main dot using this run method okay let me terminate this okay I'm going to rerun my program okay we can see a blank screen just appeared right here so now I'm going to add widgets in this class okay so let me call this class in our KB file in a angular bracket after that the colon and then I'm going to add some screens okay so let me add some screen I'm going to copy these and paste it couple of time okay then I'm going to name these screens okay so let me set the name as screen one oh sorry guys my bad screen one okay then I'm going to change the names okay so name two after the three and the final one should be four then I'm going to add buttons uh, sorry guys I am going to add one button one is MD raised button let's say raised button let me set the text okay switch to screen 2 okay sorry guys 
okay text then I'm going to set the position pose hint and it should be at center X at 0.5 and then I'm going to set the position at the middle okay so center Y should also uh, center Y is going to be at the 0.5 so center Y 0.5 okay guys After that, I'm going to set on release method for set a function. Okay, so what will be our function? I'm going to change the screen whenever this button is whenever this button is pressed. Okay, so root dot current equal let's say screen two. Okay, then. I'm going to copy this piece of code and paste it couple of time sorry guys okay and the final one now let me correct this screen numbers okay the uh, second one should be switch to screen 3 screen 3 okay switch to screen 4 sorry guys screen 4 and the uh, screen should be at the 4 switch to screen 1 and it will be at screen 1 ok then uh, let me add a level so that we can see if it is working or not ok let me set the text as screen 1 and then I'm going to set the position pose hint okay I am going to set the position at the top of the screen okay let me copy this piece of code and I'm going to paste it to all my screens okay now I'm going to run my program and let's see if it works or not position is something like uh, the positions are not working okay uh, that doesn't matter let's see switch is screen 2 screen 3 screen 4 switch to screen 1 okay all the screens are same because let me change the name of uh, let me change the text of our level so screen 2 after that is screen 3 and then screen 4 okay let me check again if it is working or not screen 2 okay we can see this is screen 2 screen 3 and uh, this button is asking for switch to screen 4 switch to screen 1 okay this is screen 1 okay now I'm going to add transition in the in those screens okay so for make transition let's see what what are the transitions are what the transitions are available so let's see what transitions are available for Kiwi so I'm going to press control space for load all modules and classes so classes and transition okay we can see these transitions are available for kiwi so i am going to import fed transition okay i'm going to copy these and i must import it in our kb file okay
import let me copy this class and then I'm going to paste it here and then I'm going to set the location okay from TV dot UIX dot screen manager okay let me check the spelling screen manager dot fat transition okay now I am going to set the transitions so root dot current equal screen to before uh, before switch to the screen to I'm going to set the transition so I'm going to add a semicolon here and then root dot transition uh, root dot transition equal fat transition sorry guys my bad I must copy this class and then paste it here okay if you want to set a color then you can call the clear color attribute and then you can set the transition color okay let me set a color let's set green color okay Okay, here I'm going to put a semicolon and then root dot transition equal fair transition then I'm going to set the color as black okay after that I'm going to uh, set transition here root dot transition equal fat transition and I'm not going to change the color here root dot transition equal let's say fat transition and then I'm going to set the color as blue okay zero zero one and one okay I hope everything should work let me remove this it is not compulsory you can keep it or you can remove it as you want okay so I'm going to read on my program okay let's see okay we can see a transition after that we can see the black color after th after that no transition uh, no color was set and then screen one uh, we can see the blue color is available okay